manually install exam view test bank files, you will first want to make sure that you've downloaded the test bank files to your desktop, which is what I've done now. If they are zipped in a zip file, you'll want to unzip them. And you'll see a folder that looks a little something like this. Now double click on this folder and when you do so, it's going to open a window that reveals a number of files that look like this. These are exam view test bank files and we need to move these files manually into the appropriate place on our computer's hard drive. I'm going to take you through those steps next. If you're running a Mac, as I am here, you want to open a window and navigate to your Applications folder. If you're on a PC, you want to launch your My Computer and navigate to the Program Files folder. Open the Applications folder if you're on a Mac, or the Program Files folder if you're on a PC, and look for the folder titled E-Instruction. Now open the E-Instruction folder. Inside the E-Instruction directory is another folder titled ExamView Pro. Click on that to reveal the Banks folder. Now go to your desktop and manually drag and drop the Test Banks folder into the Banks directory that you've just opened. You've now successfully manually added the Test Banks to ExamView. To test this, we're going to launch ExamView and create a new test. When I create that new test, I'll be able to add questions directly from the test bank we've just installed. Find the test bank that you've just manually installed, double click on it, then select the test banks that you're interested in working with. Then add a few questions, again, just to make sure that the manual install was successful. 